This is the Pisces XL multi-depth pump system. Um, it's 10 feet long, 6 feet tall, and 4 feet by 4 inches wide. It's, uh, we've got polyethylene pontoons filled with closed cell foam for redundant buoyancy. Um, the frame and chest are made of uh, marine grade aluminum. It's powder coated. All the fasteners um, and latches are stainless steel. Um, we've got two attachment points, one on the bow and one on the stern for towing as well as single and dual point moorings. Uh, the unit's power system consists of two 30 watt solar panels and four 10 watt solar panels for a total of 100 watts worth of solar uh, charging. Um, we've got a MET station for wind speed, wind direction, relative humidity, temperature, and barometric pressure. It's ultrasonic, solid state. We've got a nav beacon, uh, amber flashing every one second. We've got a digital camera, and uh, this is our junction box with a cellular antenna. Um, all connectors are oceanographic grade, and uh, we also have a pedestal for a PAR sensor. This is the port side chest of the Pisces. It's O-ring sealed, um, watertight. In the first box, we've got the data logger that serves for the instrumentation recording and logic. We've got a IP addressable cell phone modem that transmits the data over the cellular network back to your PC. Um, we've got a 27 amp hour dry cell battery on both the port side and the starboard side chest. Um, in the next box, we've got the solar regulator that uh, manages the charging of both batteries, um, as well as the relay for pump and valve control. Uh, and next we'll go over the starboard chest. Inside the starboard chest we have the peristaltic pump. The peristaltic pump is a non-wetted, non-contact pump as far as the uh, sample media. Um, we've got two valves, one for the shallow depth and one for the deep depth. So we have the ability to draw from two different depths and run it through the flow cell that's attached to the YSI SON. Um, the advantages here, not only are you getting uh, measurements from two different depths, but the anti-fouling benefits. Um, we've run this thing for months at a time with no signs of fouling. The system remains uh, moisture enriched, so pre pre preservation of the membranes remains intact. We have an extra space for a UV nitrate sensor or a fluorometer. One big advantage of the Pisces again is it's towable. Uh, the, tow, the tow point is off the bow of the vessel. Uh, once to the application site, you have the option of a single point or dual point mooring. Uh, the single point would be deployed off the bow. You have the yacht braid line, stainless chain, and a fluke style anchor. Uh, to do a dual point mooring, you would do the same thing off the stern of the vessel. Okay, once you have the Pisces securely moored, you can pull up your vessel alongside the Pisces. Um, there's wing nuts on the PVC standpipe. You undo the wing nuts, lower the pipe down, uh, secure the pipe again on the bottom studs with wing nuts. Then on the pump systems version of the Pisces, uh, you would lower the intake lines in. The intake lines are on a piece of stainless aircraft cable. They have a stainless strainer. This is the shallow intake, um, the lower depth intake, as well as a weight. That keeps the line vertical in the water column. If you're not using the pump system, you would just simply take the YSI sawn and lower it into the uh, PVC pipe. Next we're going to demonstrate the two depth pump system. The red will indicate the shallow depth, um, will fill up the flow cell, 
we'll empty the flow cell and then we'll fill up with the blue, which represents the deep depth, the second depth. 